Hello readers and book lovers! So today I'm going to be doing a book review on Recursion by Blake Crouch. I have been looking forward to this book for so long and I picked it up at Waterstones and I even got it like a signed edition and it's like my third signed book ever which makes me so happy. I've only read one other book by Blake Crouch before and that's Dark Matter and I really love that one because it all has to do with different dimensions and that kind of thing and there's two things that really stirs my jug, it's multiple dimensions and time. I love books that play with time and what time means because time really doesn't exist, it's just the way we experience it and this one really dove into time specifically. So in this book you follow two perspectives, Helen and Barry, and Helen, her perspective is in 2007 and you get to follow her as she gets recruited for this new job where she's working towards saving memories so that people who get Alzheimer's can look back on their memories and still remember when their mind isn't function, functioning enough to remember and that's what she wants because her mother is suffering from Alzheimer's. And then you follow Barry in 2018 who is trying to stop a woman from jumping. But the woman says she has something called FMS which is something that has popped up in recent time called false memory syndrome I think and it's all about people all over starting to remember a reality where they were a different person or they had a different life. So this woman, she wants to take, commit suicide and jump off the building because she remembers this life where she had a son and a husband and now she's living this life that she they don't actually exist and she doesn't understand what is going on and it's really confusing and a lot of people commit suicide because they wish this other life was better and it feels like theirs but it never kind of existed. And so ever the world is kind of wondering what um, false memory syndrome is and these like perspectives are obviously connected. So in the first part of the book I thought the book was really similar to Dark Matter and it has a lot of action towards the middle. The beginning was a little bit slow but it kind of like you have to get into it but when you do it is so good. I gave this five stars. I could not like put it down. I absolutely loved it and the ending was just mind-blowing. I think actually it doesn't really follow the usual curve where there's like a beginning and then there's small events but it like slowly goes up. It comes to a point where there is a climax but it's actually quite in the middle of the book and then the downfall is very long but still very good and it is just amazing. I absolutely loved it. It is much more serious than Dark Matter. Dark Matter is funny and like ridiculous in a way. This is a lot and I didn't really like it at the end when it became a little bit corporal but then you understand why it has to do with military and stuff for it to kind of take a turn and it was just so good. I don't want to say anything about the romance but oh my god this is like the ultimate OTP? Is that what you said? Ultimate True Pairing? Yeah oh my god. So good. Um, I want to read a couple of quotes from this book before I wrap this up. These are obviously uh, quotes about time, so first one is quite early in the book. Time is an illusion, a construction made out of human memory. There's no such thing as the past, the present, or the future. It's all happening now. And I think this is like quite known to like everyone, kind of like time doesn't really exist, but like in a linear way, the way that we experience it. And this is kind of a reflection of the main character, which I think is really interesting. And he wonders, is deja vu actually the specter of false timelines that never happened but did, casting their shadows upon reality? So the, here he's basically saying like, is deja vu what we experience as like an art alternate reality of us where we do experience it and then we, the timelines kind of like go together and then we, I don't know what he's saying but I really like that concept and I really like this idea also, it's not in this book but for example if you go to a place and you feel really at home, many people say that it's because you've ha lived a previous life there but it could also be that you're living that life right now and obviously if you live a previous life then you're also living it now if time doesn't exist but I mean especially if it's you living there but in an alternate, alternate reality like or dimension um, I would believe that, like, 
why you feel like you've been to a place before when you haven't actually been there. And then there was just this, there are these quotes uh, in the beginning of all the book parts and this was a quote by Ray Cummins that he has included and it says time is what keeps everything from happening at once and I think it's kind of interesting like how we humans we experience time in like linear because we have to like we would go completely insane if we just like remembered everything at once like at birth you know like if we just knew everything and I think that's why our minds are so constricted and this book really explores what happens when we are um, faced with an evolution technology that makes it possible for us to not experience it it's linear or what happens because what happens in the book is Helen she creates something that is a huge mistake and it brings the world to a point where it can't handle what it has been given. So yeah, I can't find the exact quote where it says about how humans can't really handle certain types of technologies, but in this book it really shows that and I'm almost a little bit scared when we come to that point if it is possible. I hope the world is ready and uh, it like it's a little bit frightening. There is this one quote that I actually really liked. Um, that kind of, it is foreshadowing, but it's also where the title pops up. The walls of the elevator are old. Smoke stained mirrors and staring into them creates a recursive illusion. An infinite number of berries and Helenas in elevator cars bending away through space. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end it at that. Um, I highly recommend it. I think it's even better than Dark Matter to be honest. He has quoted a lot of great writers. Um, George Orwell, Kurt Vonnegut from Slaughterhouse-Five which I also read and really liked and it has like a similar theme to the book and I really like that type of theme so I really enjoyed it. It was the perfect book for me. I highly recommend you read it and tell me if you do and what your thoughts are down below. I hope you have a really brilliant day. Keep on reading guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!